bear my windowed self untamed and untrained Dreams it hardly touch our complexions, true is false If room enough for both my drowsy spirit shall fall Bold waves tumble a heart to the season of my heart And you have offended my faith and my trust Until all is lost and to the beauty of the day yeah. Until all is lost, yeah. See, yeah. See, yeah. And I think it's lost. And there's a something Hello. else. <laughs> I'm Jana. Jana, uh, well, I don't know, my art name is Jana Jackson, which soon will be my legal name, but my legal name is Jana Renner. Um, abstract is kind of newer for me. I just started doing it this past year. I would say this is all like my divorce <laughs> kind of like out there. So there's like a strange feeling about like this art in particular. I've always made art from that like emotional place. But it's been, you know, it's funny how things, I, I've watched my art change over the past year, but I'm just enjoying like the ride of where it's at. So right now I'm making like really abstract, really bright stuff. It's like more about the like physical part of making art, like the therapeutic part. Being here, like having a space that's just my own. You know, I'm, I'm someone who like, I was very passive. And my happiness was really based on like the happiness of everyone around me. And it was a really hard way to be. And it actually drove me to do things that like you won't you wouldn't think a super uh, like others driven empathic person would do, like maybe like I would lie to my sister because I was like too nervous to tell her something. And then I would tell, you know, my mom like what really happened and then they would talk and they would get mad at me. It would like cause me all this pain and drama, but I would still do it because like I just couldn't, like I couldn't make people feel bad. So it's been like journey from that person to now being like okay with like having an opinion and stuff like that. So I don't know, I'm I'm just in an a, a stage of like acceptance of like whatever the situation is, you know. So that is a good place to be, <laughs> I think. Surrender. That's kind of what this is about. Like all my expectations about what my art should be, if it should contain figures, like stuff that I used to do that I'm not doing. I just have to like suspend all that and just let let it out and then keep moving forward. I think I hope I keep surprising myself. Yeah. I, being with Lisa, my studio mate, is like, oh, she helps open my eyes to a ton of stuff. With, she gives the gentlest suggestions, but they really, some of the, she's given me some gems of wisdom in terms of like expanding myself and ways I can express myself. And we've been collaborating a little bit lately, so I don't, all I want to do is make art that makes me happy. <laughs> So that's what I just am focusing on right now. And I think, you know, part of that is like continuing to be a student and trying to learn new stuff. But, you know, just like I said, like just letting it out. Like you got to just let out what, what you're feeling and express it mm -hmm. and not judge it and not get attached to it. That's why, you know, the process of making this and then selling it off and <laughs> really never seeing it again, it's, it's good for you. You can't remain attached to things, I think, in life and like be happy. And it's not just things, it's like emotions, it's people. Yeah. And a qu another question I get like on first Fridays when people come in, they're like, how do you start and do you have an idea in mind? And I really don't, I don't, I don't know, I hate, I feel like why does everyone always ask me that? But yeah. for some reason I just, for some reason that, I guess, I, I don't know why I feel like that makes it less valid, but. Maybe it's not. Yeah. I, I don't know what color. I'm just I'm looking around. I'm thinking whatever I saw that day. What is the weather outside? Um, I don't know. And 
I just kind of start, I have squeeze bottles, and then I have a step ladder, and that's pretty much like, I use height as a way to like, and I frankly viscosity um, in terms of like how I mix the acrylic paint to vary like how the paint mixes. So it's like velocity, so how like high I drip it from will mix it more and you'll get some bubbles in some of the like higher drops. And um, you know, it's more frothy if you have more water, but then it kind of will drip over the edge and I'm covering the whole canvas, so I need to keep it like at least a little gelatinous. <laughs> So there's, I like science a lot and there's a little bit of fun in terms of like mixing the different concoctions. When I look back at my art, I am proud of it, like as a body and not only that but as like, there are certain pieces that will like, there are certain ones that don't fade, that are like favorites. But I, I don't know, I guess it's like, for me it's like part of the, pro you look to like let it all burn in the fire because at some point like you said about the songs like, it's just not me anymore. Yeah. Like, I used to feel what I was feeling so hard when I made it, and I love when other people can connect to that. That's what keeps a piece alive to me. If I know people keep connecting with it, then I'll, like, it's everlasting love. Hate it or love it or whatever. It makes anyone feel something. Then I like that. Because for me, like, the act of making art is in itself one thing, but art isn't that. Like, that's therapy. That's, like, I'm making art in the moment to me, like that's art, my, like whatever's happening is art, but then that canvas, that square doesn't become art until like someone else lays eyes on it, you know, just doesn't get there. I need that like feedback, I need that connection. I, I just love people, that's even why I started expressing myself, because once you realize that like you're not alone, <laughs> and that other people feel that way, like you can tap into this like human connectivity of like we are all in pain in some ways we're all suffering but it's about like suffering together like <laughs> don't you just like don't we all just want to be like together <laughs> so i don't know i have so much i want to do i hope i have time to do it all in this life <laughs> oh i picked a it's called now jason mraz colon live and acoustic. I'm pretty sure. I listened to it in high school and I graduated in 04. I think those years are so formative. Yeah. Like you feel those feelings for like the first time and then when you connect it with the song it's like fires together, wires together, you just like can't get it out of your brain. There's a couple on here that are like, that really hit home for me. But um, I don't know, I was I was a very introverted person, like mostly a loner, or I'd maybe have like one best girlfriend like throughout all my years, but it would change. And um, of all things, like I joined choir, like I always loved singing, but um, I was a nerd in like seventh grade. The only person I knew was joining, so I joined. And I could do it because it was like a group thing and like I wasn't, <laughs> like I could like hide and everyone was wearing the same. And I don't know, I just... I just love, I loved his way of singing, first of all, like, because when I was alone, <laughs> I would like to sing, and I was very afraid of singing in front of everyone, but, like, this was kind of a vocally challenging song, and so I liked, like, taking my out loud tape player to the backyard and, like, playing it and, like, singing it out loud, because it gave me something to, like, try to sing. It wasn't like I was just putting on music and being, like, singing along, like, I wanted to, like, sing like him. Uh, and you know, the reason why I love that album, the reason why I have that album, my sister got it for me for Christmas, was because I had finally gone to like my first concert, which was Jason Mraz. <laughs> it was like a tiny concert. And I did like the classic like teenage girl thing. I go to the concert and I'm like crazy like beaming my energy towards him as he plays the whole thing. And then, I mean, I can't tell you if it really did happen, but I would have sworn to God at the time. And I think, I think it's true, but like, I, I thought he looked at me. And I was like, he looked at me. I told everyone, I was like, oh yeah, I went to, and I had pictures that I had to like, actually get developed at Walgreens. <laughs> And so they came out, it's just like him, I still have them, just like far away on like the stage and it's so funny to me, I was like, when they came, I was like, oh my god, and here he is and he's probably singing this song. I just had never, most of my friends had been to concerts, 
and I had it, so I don't know. For me, it was like every little bit was so exciting. Now I get the whole concert thing. It's totally cool. I'm a little more chill about it. Heart to ground. Heart, heart, said it. Heart to ground. Ooh, say I am in love. Say heart to ground. Say everything. Oh, heart. Oh, heart. Oh, heart.